Hello viewers, welcome to LinuxHelp.com. Today we are going to see how to set up a firewall in Ubuntu 16.04. Usually setting up an IP table firewall can be difficult for the Linux beginners. But Ubuntu has made it a little bit easier. UFW, that is uncomplicated firewall, is the front end for IP tables. So GUFW is the graphical front end for the UFW and it's one of the most easiest firewall in the world. To install a GUFW, just open a terminal window and then issue the following command. Now the installation has been done. Now we can launch the GUFW from the Unity dashboard. Here you can see the firewall configuration. This is the graphical UFW. Now here you can see the UFW graphical mode. Usually by default you have a three different profiles public, office and then home. Let's assume that we are doing a basic setup for a home computer. The most basic setup for a home computer is to deny all the incoming traffic and also allow the outgoing traffic. Here you will be able to serve the internet. To achieve this you just need to switch the status from off to on. Now the firewall has been turned on. Now you have to add a firewall rules. In order to add a firewall rules, in order to add the firewall rules, click on the rules tab and then click the plus sign. Now you can add the firewall rules here. Let's assume that I am going to add a firewall rule for a specific application that is uh, SSH. So the policy let be simple and direction in and go to the category part, use the network and then subcategory will be services and then the application will be SSH now I want to disable SSH login on my Ubuntu 16.04 desktop that is you don't allow other computer to SSH into your Ubuntu machine but at the same time you want to SSH in other computer from your Ubuntu desktop all you need to do is set policy to deny now there is a difference between deny and reject let me explain it later and select the in as the direction now after giving all these options you have to click add button now you can see that our firewall rules has been added and then close this now if you like to go to the command line interface here is the command to check the UFW status here you can see our status has been active and action has been denied from, from anywhere so in order to enable the firewall, you have to run this command. So now it shows our firewall is active and enabled on system startup. I am going to try taking SSH from another mission. The IP address of my desktop mission. So now it, it says connection refused. Here I am going to explain what is the difference between deny and reject. You will see four policies in GUFW. One is allow and another is deny and then reject and then limit. Allow. Allow is to accept packets to traverse the firewall. And deny will deny the traffic. And the reject policy will deny traffic and will send the packet to the source computer and let it know that traffic has been rejected. So the limit policy will deny traffic if an IP tried several connections. So as we given a deny option here, the deny will deny the traffic on alone. Only the reject policy will deny traffic and will send the packet to the source computer to let it know that traffic has been rejected. Now I am going to switch over to my default mission that is desktop mission. If you need to go back to the default setting, simply type the following command UFW reset. So it will reset all your installed defaults. Now everything is back to the normal position. 
now you can disable the firewall if necessary now the firewall is stopped and disabled on system startup so overall UFW is able to protect your VPS against the most common hacking items of course your security measures should be more detailed than just using a UFW however it is a good start if you need more example of UFW you can watch more in the upcoming tutorial thanks for watching this video if you like our channel please don't forget to subscribe for more videos please do visit www.linuxhelp.com and also mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for further queries